Hello everyone, this is Miguel Greenberg and this is the second quick uh, tutorial about core React topics. Uh, so in this part we are going to talk about state. Uh, when you have a component like this one, the top level component, and you need it to remember some data, then uh, in React you do that by creating state variables that are associated with the component. Um, so the cases where you need to uh, to keep some state are when uh, when you have elements that change uh, depending on external events, uh, for example. Uh, so this is how uh, when, when, when you change this state uh, variables, React uh, detects that the page needs to be updated. And, and, and that is what, uh, what gets everything updated uh, sort of in an, in an automatic way. Um, so to show you how this works in a, in a very simple way, I'm going to use an example that is uh, actually very common. Uh, a lot of people do this as a first exercise in uh, in learning state which is to build a counter so let's say we we want to show a, a counter on the page and then we want to have a button that adds one to the counter and another button that subtracts one so uh, we can start by uh, by building the uh, the presentation part of the project so um, so we can say the counter it's going to be like that. So we, we can add a counter. The zero, of course, is a placeholder. We, we will replace it. Or actually, uh, we can do something that we already know how to do. Uh, we can set a variable here. Let's start that way. And then uh, and then we need uh, two, uh, two buttons. So we can say this is a plus one and a minus one something like that yeah that looks okay uh, there so uh, this is this is our presentation so of course if, if you if you use a normal variable uh, this uh, does not work because uh, Every time this component is rendered, uh, this variable will be zero, right? If, so with, if, if we set it to one, let's say we, we say counter, uh, counter equals counter plus one as a result of a button, uh, you know, it's, it's going to happen in that instance, but then when the function runs again, all of that is going to be lost. So, so we need to clearly do something different. And uh, the, the way you do this is using the the use state function from react so basically this allocates a state variable for the component and the use state function returns two things not one it returns the variable and also a setter function so this is part of how React detects that something changed. Uh, if you need to change the counter, you don't change the variable directly. You use this set counter setter function that comes with the state, and and this is what triggers all the all the automatic updates that uh, that React will do when the counter changes. So we have a counter and a set counter. So this remains the same. We we treat that state. Uh, variable as a real regular variable and uh, we, we can now write the uh, the handlers for for the two buttons so for this button uh, we can say on click and we can call a function that's called ink and for the second button it's going to be deck uh, to increment and decrement and so let's uh, let's write those uh, functions. So we 
the function needs to add one to the counter. So uh, so so we do it set counter counter plus one inside the function, and then the decrement function. It's the same thing, but subtracts one. So counter. Oops. Counter minus one. There we go. So and that was it. Now we have our state. So this is uh, probably one of the most important things in React. Uh, and any time you display information on a page that uh, that needs to be updated, for example. Uh, information that comes from a request that you send to the back end, uh, information that changes, like in this example, from, from a, a, an event triggered by the user. Uh, anytime you have information that is subject to change, you are going to use a state variable to hold it, and then you're going to call the, uh, the setter for that state when you need to change it. And this is what it's going to uh, to trigger all the update mechanisms within React that will uh, that will refresh all the references to that state within the page. So I hope this was uh, this was uh, simple uh, for for you to understand. Uh, we are going to look at a slightly more advanced version of this uh, of of this example in the next video where we are going to talk about creating uh, multiple components in uh, ba basically subdividing the application uh, into uh, into a hierarchy of components instead of building everything in uh, in a single component uh, so i will see you in the next video bye bye